go, we saw the woman of the moment arrive looking magnificent. Yeah, Olivia, course, Olivia, Olivia Coleman, Coleman. if you're just waking up this morning, nice. You, you need, sometimes you need a Brit on the stage to just uh, change the atmosphere a little bit, don't you? She was brilliant. 8.34 is the time. Let's go through the rest of the day's news now. Theresa May says MPs will have another chance to approve or reject her Brexit deal by the 12th of March, just over two weeks before Britain is due to leave the EU. She is currently attending a summit of EU and Arab leaders in Egypt, which is being eagerly watched from Westminster political editor Laura Koonsberg is in Sharmel Sheikh. Um, very good morning to you. Um, so, Laura, what's your take? There's lots of things in the newspapers about possible delays. Um, give us your analysis. Analysis of what it is now years about all things Brexit. Um, you know, is it... We know that the EU can... <laughs> that the EU can delay. You know, is time running out, as some people might say? Some of them have been playing pool. People can hear much more of Laura as well on Brexit Cast, of which I am a listener. So thank you very much indeed. Time now is 8.38. Sex education will be... People can hear much more of Laura as well on Brexit Cast, of which I am a listener. So thank you very much indeed. Eight thirty-eight. sex education will be compulsory across all secondary schools in England from next year, with pupils as young as four being taught about relationships. It's part of a new... The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are visiting a stables which supports children with special needs on their day, the final day of their visit to Morocco. Yes. Yesterday, they met school children in the Atlas Mountains. Uh, let's go to our Royal... Thank you very much. Um, it is 8.40, coming up on the programme this morning. feel really uncomfortable, doesn't it? <laughs> is, 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 is it just me or is it everyone? If you Ooh. think you feel uncomfortable, what's it going to be like at Chelsea training today? Oh, orcs. Totally, after yesterday. Yeah. Totally. Chelsea goalkeeper, Caper, refused to be, refused to be substituted yeah. uh, by Maurizio Sarri in a really important game for them yesterday. So, yeah, slightly awkward. Um, Chelsea have actually released a statement saying that the two... Noticing when he was so angry, and he was very angry, yeah. a lot of zipping and unzipping of his tracksuit top. You see, that Did was, he? I think, it was Isn't how he was, he was sort of taking out on the zip. I saw him Such kick his something fury. and then leave. I, he stormed off he and then very quickly changed his mind and came again, back. again, didn't he? Oh. Which is also awkward, yeah. isn't it? He was left in a... Re and knowing full well the cameras are watching as well. And also, great. also, you have to say, you know, would, would that happen to any other manager? In how much respect does he have from those players for Definitely. that to happen? He's in a very, very tricky position now. Indeed. Sal, thank you. Thank you. Quarter two and nine. Oh, we've been talking about the Oscars, you might have noticed this morning. The uh, movie business is changing fast. Steph is here with a bit more on that. And this is particularly... Actually, Best Director, didn't it? Yeah, but, um... it got, it's, it, Roma, as you say, got three Oscars uh, overnight. So yeah. they got Best Director, Best Foreign Language Film and Best Cinematography. Uh, but there, there has been, because it was produced by Netflix, which is obviously a streaming creator film, to be up I'd for an like Oscar. I'd like to know this. <laughs> yeah. an Oscar. So clearly they've obviously met the... Roma met the requirements for this. But... It's just not been like your classic in the cinemas for ages and 39 million subscribers. If you look at how many people are going to the cinema... That is that Roma is... A, I, I, if any, have you seen it? Cause it's I've a, not seen it's it yet, no. It's a I beautiful, finished watching it yesterday. beautiful film. And I would say it is one of those films that would be well worth seeing in a cinema because it is effect. so beautiful. And yet most people are watching it on a rel you know on a small screen, aren't they? But Although that, some people... 8.48 is the time right now. Uh, we know that Dan um, is not here because he is climbing Mount Kilimanjaro for comic relief. It's Africa's highest summit and he's on his third day of the challenge. Who's in amongst uh, those uh, with him? It's 8.48 is the time right now. Uh, we know that Dan um, is not here because he is climbing Mount Kilimanjaro for comic relief. It's Africa's highest summit and he's on his third day of the challenge.
Who's in amongst uh, those uh, with him? It's uh, Love Island's Danny Dyer, Jade and Leanne from Little Mix as well. We'll find out how, fingers crossed, how he's getting on in a moment. I think it's day three. First, he is in training just before he left. How are you doing? How are you all doing? you to ask them a question okay are you ready for this so what is the best thing about dan as a trekking yes, partner you, yes. and the worst thing about dan as a trekking partner ask them very much 4000 meters is pretty challenging and they've got more challenges ahead thank you all uh time now is 8 54 let's take Very much indeed. And just a little update uh, about Kilimanjaro. Speaking to, we'll speak to Dan hopefully again tomorrow. Amazingly, it all worked. Um, if you want to support him and the team, uh, much more on the BBC. Did we miss the him. beginning of the voice lady then? Did, did we not hear her at the beginning? Was that very Alan Partridge, you think, to miss the beginning? Uh, and it, that stuff can happen. It can happen, can't it? <laughs> uh, the reason I mentioned Alan Partridge, of course, uh, Norwich's finest broadcaster. 25 years since he has presented a show on the BBC. Can you believe it? So tonight on BBC One, uh, there's a new chat show called This Time. Alan is, of course, played by Steve Coogan, his is co-presenter. It? It? Yeah. <laughs> his uh, co-presenter is Jenny Grisham, played by Susanna Fielding, who's here with us. We'll talk to you in a second. It's lovely to see you. You too. Uh, first, let's have a little look, shall we? Susanna's here now. Well, that's Morning. interesting, isn't it? Do you want to get? Should we get something out of the way straight away? Have you have you been watching this program, for example, by way for of example. research? Well, have you? You two are obviously complete professionals. You, no, you so can say I've whatever never, you like. I've never spot a moment of awkwardness on this sofa. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been watching much, clearly. <laughs> clearly, very you diplomatic. Have been, <laughs> did you watch a lot of stuff? Loads of shows. Uh, yeah, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> and of course, he asked absolutely hates it so there's this kind of like is she a goodie or is she a baddie kind of and, and as the series goes on you'll start to see a little bit more of who she might really be excellent yeah, yeah it's a good trick though you've got to, if you've got a good line you've got to keep it to yourself otherwise oh, you know you know that will. now <laughs> someone will nick it for sure there's so much oh, for sure. <laughs> lovely to see his point thank yes. you very much thank you very much oh, there's so thank much you. i could say but i'm not going to <laughs> Anyway, this time with Alan Partridge is on BBC One tonight at 9.30 p.m. You're brilliant, by the way. Thank you. Uh, we're going to be Thank talking with Anna Smith. Uh, and we're going to look again. back at the Oscars. Wasn't it fantastic it last was night? beautiful. And, yeah, I'm Olivia very Coleman. thrilled for Olivia Coleman. She's a real star and she looked amazing, I Didn't thought. She? Yeah. Um, so we'll talk about the Oscars after the headlines, wherever you are this morning. See you shortly. <laughs> So, uh, welcome back. Let's assess last, <clears throat> excuse me, last night's Oscars with awards, Oscars awards with film critic and podcaster Anna Smith, who's here with us. Morning to you. Our main winners included Rami Malek. He won Best Actor for his portrayal of Freddie Mercury and Bohemian Rhapsody, while Best Film went to Green Book, a story about race in 1960s America. But let's be honest, the night belonged to Livia Coleman, who won Best Actress for her role as Queen Anne in The Favourite. Just brilliant that she won, and it was, you know, she wasn't the favourite, was she? She wasn't. I thought it was going to be Glenn Close, like almost everyone else did, and it was the biggest sort of sharp intake of breath mm. that I did when she won. But absolutely delightful. I knew it was going to be a great speech. She spent a whole awards season. Was scared.